I took in my room. The people pulled me from my bed. Come on, come with us. They said, don't be afraid. I fought hard. They kept on pushing me, shoving me into that room. The room full of whispers and eyes. I hated them. They forced me to look. See. Come on now, David. Now stop. She came to my home. Martha. My Aunt Martha. The woman. Here she comes. Your aunt. I can manage. Take my bag. David. What a big boy you are now. You don't remember me. I'm Martha. Your Aunt Martha. Come give me a kiss. Oh, poor boy. I can't believe my sister slept here. I suppose it is the best room. I forgot to mention there's a house guest here. A gentleman. Who is he? <laughs> what is he doing here? He's a friend to Mr. DeRoss, his traveling companion. Well, if he's going to stay here, he's just going to have to do something. Take care of the guard. Why is he here? Mr. Doroth wanted him to look after David. Oh, dear. I can see I do have my work cut out for me. Where's David? David? David, are you down there? Where is he? He'll turn up, Mum. Can't be David. You and me. We are gathered today to mourn this woman whose grace and love has touched each of our lives. Accept our prayers on behalf of thy servant, cherished sister of Martha, beloved wife of Kevin, and mother of David. Grant her entrance into the land of light and joy in the fellowship of thy saints.
right, I'm here. Come on. Come on, Henry. David, will you? What for? I'm taking him to town for the parade. He needs cheering up. Mm, I see. I know. We'll take our horse and carriage. You'll drive. You sold the horses, Miss Fairchild. I know I sold the horses. I meant for you to find one. I suggest you try a stable. Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Fairchild. Well... Surprise! Huh? How did you get... It is five miles from the estate, and Arjuna cannot travel as fast as Aki's car. I hid in the back seat of the car. <laughs> you are son of a god, you. <laughs> I am the greatest sneak in the world. Enjoy yourself. Jungles of the darkest Africa, tigers, lions, elephants, oh, all made of wood, and each piece was carved by hand. Down here in front, we have the clowns. And over here, we have an elephant. Yes, Sonny, it's yours. Can I? Go on, take it. Never take things for strangers. Never say never. David! Hi, Peter! Peter and I are going to go kill the Indians. Wait, better go be here. Gene, how nice to Everyone see you. Everyone got everything? I had no idea any of our old friends were still here. Teddy, you must bring David with you for supper one night. Perhaps. We'll see. How is he? Yeah. He's a great deal better. Of course, I'm still having the doctor watch him. I hadn't realized there was anything serious. Apparently, no one else did either. You miss your father? Yeah. He was fun to be with. David, how did your mother die? Hey, the tree! Gotcha! You missed me, you missed me. Cry, baby, cry, baby. Come on down here, chicken. Here it comes, baby. plans now, Akeem? Oh, once I leave here, I'm going back home. Straight home for me. I leave for Bangkok in three weeks. Why don't you join me? <laughs> Why not? Wine, women. Yeah, and the call of the jungle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, It'll be like old times. Yeah. Now, I'm going to stay here until I feel that David has the strength to stand on his own two feet. Once he knows what his father stood for, there is no way she can influence him. Now remember, don't say I have to... Say I have to whisper. Okay. Oh, you're adorable. John. Oh, Percy, isn't he adorable? <laughs> How's the old man? Oh, I do. Kevin and I picked him up in India. It's Galicia. Oh, isn't he cute? The elephant god. Looks like the doctor's going off. In the He's supposed to have the power to overcome all obstacles. 
Rub his trunk, Mark. Use a haircut. Why? I don't know. Let me get you another drink. Let's see what happens. Uh, what was it? What? <laughs> this man put his bolt on well, let me tell you this fantastic story that's between Jean and me. Jean, you tell the beginning. Come on. Uh, <laughs> she always tells us so well. Of course you do. Come on. You tell the story. I'll tell the last half if you'll tell the first half. <laughs> we can get you interested. You won't have to hear the story at all. You can jump right. <laughs> David? Do you remember that story? I'm not here. Uh, well, when may we expect David, your arrival, huh? I saw the identical ring. I'm not here. Hmm. No. And Hamlet. Well, there's a third one. Let's see if I can find you. Philip, not the same. These three girls have the same ring on their fingers. Can you imagine that? What did you do? With an ugly ring. David, you're all wet. Everything's all wet. I don't remember him. I spilled my drink on your head. Uh, we were playing a water game. A water game. Yes. Uh, hold your hands up. Charles is the one with hair. No, no, this one. And Michael's the one with beard but no hair. Yeah. Watch it, Martha. Watch it. What do I do now? Mary, would you serve these parents, please? One of my favorite stories. Thank you, Mary. Oh, Percy, you mustn't tell it here. Oh, Percy, do. Well, it seems Kevin was walking the streets of Bangkok when this tiny spill on you. Are these chestnuts? Well, yes, I believe they are. I can't stand chestnuts. They're evil things. Give me the rocks. <laughs> anyway, Kevin. At least I think it was Kevin. It was Kevin. I'm not so sure. It was. It might have been Jim Patterson. It couldn't have been Jim Patterson. I got to whisper. Maybe it was Jim. No. Hmm? I got a whisper. Oh, Kevin. 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 You know you don't whisper before guests. Well, anyhow, this Indian comes up to Kevin and says, "Kiss your sister." <laughs> Well, I wouldn't even drink your bloody water. <laughs> What's the matter with that water? Heard that one. Hmm? Oh, the water. Yeah, well, told me that. it's undrinkable. <laughs> Did my father drink it? Yes. Then it can't be bad. <laughs> well, maybe it isn't. Would you care for some more vegetables? No, I got it. David. You know you're not supposed to have toast. Why? Not little. That's you know why. Why? Because. Because why? Doctor. What do you think? Because. You know, Percy, I'm a doctor, not a doctor. I know. I'll make you a cough. <laughs> He's inherited a cough from his father. David, you could choke on it and die. You remember when... when uh, you were dating Kevin and Bill was after Kathy Fields? Oh, well, it was hard. Yeah. Do you have a time? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, not your job. Oh. Come on. Are you all right, dear? It's nothing to laugh at. Now you can do it. <laughs> Kevin has stayed home with his son where he belongs. Instead of jackassing around Africa, he would never have died. Oh, I see. We're responsible for the way we die. Mm -hmm. And the way we live. A boy of school age needs a father. He should have a father. What kind of father? One who lives off his son to make up for his own failures? Or one who lives his own life and gives it as an example? I happen to have a son myself. And I know for sure if I was away for long periods of time, he would suffer. Imagine he was trying to look at you. Being a father means being there at all times. Oh, hell. Kevin was away from David for years. But I'll be willing to bet that David had a better sense of his father as a man than most boys had. How are your breasts, my dear? Still soggy or all dry? Oh, Christ. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Oh, that man is a monster. The bon Dieu, the hangman. La maison de Dieu, the house of God. David? 
Take care of you. My aunt is doing that. Is she doing a good job of taking care of you? She tries. <laughs> you know what I mean is, well, are you happy? She says so. I want you to know if there's ever anything you need, I, I can get it for you. She doesn't have to know about it. Uh, uh, I have an elephant gun. Here. yours. But I have nothing to give you. If I give you an elephant gun, that's my choice. You don't owe me anything for it. Then, of course, if you choose to give me a smile, I'll know that it's not given from a sense of duty. But my aunt gives me things. She says... A gift like that isn't a gift, it's a demand. You owe nothing, not to your family or your God or your country. You're a good businessman. Hunter, David, like your father was. Sit on my lap. Oh. Okay, here, here, one more, just to make sure. You'll be surprised when you see this one. Good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? <laughs> yes, he's beautiful. What are you going to call him, David? Apple Betty. Yes, David, I am. Back to Africa. Uh, but I promise you, when you're a little bit older, I'll take you with me. Because, you see, you and I are buddies. And uh, I want to share my whole life with you. David, it's so beautiful there. All the animals run free. But you'll see for yourself when you and I go, won't you? You promise? I promise. But, uh... First, you've got to promise something to me, honey. What? You've got to promise me that while I'm away, you won't forget me. Well, when will you be back? Well, I'll be back. I'll be back before Christmas. 
before the first snow falls. I won't forget you. Good. Because I won't forget you. Charlie. Eat now the flesh of our Lord. Eat now the flesh of our Lord. Eat now the flesh of our Lord. David. My son. David, how could you? Okay, I'm not his son. I'm sorry. You're coming. You're so sorry. So sorry. Excuse me. David, I know that you don't like church. But you're not ready to see people. Well, I understand perfectly. David, there's not a single step of notice left. Now, that's inexcusable. Absolutely inexcusable. What I don't understand is your foolishness. Here is the day in town you've most looked forward to, and you've spoiled it. It's not as though I'm asking you for self-sacrifice. You pray for your own soul, not mine. David? Silence. After everything, silence. Still whittling? Well, just whittle away. I couldn't care less about what happened this morning. It didn't embarrass me a bit. You know, David, our family has always made a contribution to the Christian community. And we expect you to do the same. Frankly, we can't afford to have you grow up to be like your father. Oh, David, don't. Please don't start coughing. Every time we come home from town, you start coughing. For the rest of the summer, you stay right here on our own place where nothing can upset you. No. We'll find things for you to do. <laughs> David, you hurt your throat. I'm talking to you. Don't you care about me? You're not my mother. No, I'm not your mother. Your mother's dead. Bitch, you must never call her that again. She hated my father, didn't she? She's a lovely lady. When you do what she says, she'll be sending you to a fine school and making a proper gentleman of you. I don't want to be a Oh, please try to like her, dear. It's for you. Well, she never raised a child before. She doesn't know whether you like her or not. She doesn't. She does. She is with us to stay now. We've got to learn to accept her. But it'll only be for a few years. A few years is a long time. You'll be a man before you know it. But if you think of her as some kind of a wicked witch, the few years are going to be forever. But it won't be so bad. We'll still have our fun. Like your father always said, laugh and be fat. Well, come on, give me a little smile. Faster, 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 
But here comes the elephant charging. Oh! Okay, where are you, Black? I am not. Yes, you are. No, you are black, and I, I'll be white. <laughs> Can I touch your hair? Yes. That's why. I'm glad you like it. I don't have a choice, do I? No, you don't. There is only one Aki. There is only one David. Right, and only one Dirop. David, you are your father's son. You must remain your father's son. Understand? I need you to help me with my face. I can't see anything. You remember Hama, don't you? Ah, <sighs> let's have a talk. What shall we talk about? I want you to be happy. I'm already happy. Uh -huh. I wish I could be sure of that. What do you think about? I think about my God. Really? I knew you did. I think about him too. It's something to be proud of, David. I have a secret prayer. Oh, David, of course you do. Oh, please, say it. Just for me. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed by the fruit of the loom, Jesus. Oh, David. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Not the fruit of the loom. Thy womb. What's that? Well, didn't anyone ever teach you anything? Well, what is it? Oh, David, I thought you wanted to see an eclipse or something. You may go. Well, it's all over by now. Well, I'm sorry, darling. But there'll be lots of other eclipses. Ow! Someday I'm going to get you. <laughs> I pulled out a gray hair. Who shouldn't tease her like that? It was only a gray one. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? No. Your prayers. What for? If you pray right, maybe he'll hear you. Dear God. This is a king. <laughs> Mary. And this is the way. They don't want me to be different. David! I'm home. Look what I brought, a ball. You know what we're going to play? What's that tag game? Running bases. Go tell Mary we're going to play. Tell her yourself. I'm your aunt, David. And I'm going to be your friend. Oh, Kelly! Yeah, yeah, me Kelly!
I give up. <laughs> Can you hear me? What is this? What is this? What are you doing here? What are you doing? What is this? Don't touch me. Black man. I hate you. Who stole it? I don't want to see you again. Please. Just go away. Not you, David. Are you mean? You, David. Come back. David. David, you don't understand. David, I oh, didn't no. mean it. I didn't mean you. <laughs> David? David? We're never together anymore. Well, then come with me. And do what? You could help me with my work. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kevin, you are dreaming. You're not... Shut fine. up, Terry. You're lying to me. Daddy. We used to have a beautiful life. You keep walking out on it. You just... Don't you see I have to leave? I've got ten years of my life tied up in this project. I just can't walk away. If you me. leave, I'm leaving. I can't live with you this way anymore. Then leave. You mean that? You heard me. Well, I'll take David with me then. You leave David alone. He belongs here. So do you. You have no right to him. You're never home. At least when I'm home, he has fun. Great fun. Playing with all your African junk. Look at this crap. This place is filled with stuffed animals. Oh, this is a great toy for a kid to be playing with. Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin, please, let's stop this. Let's not fight anymore. I love you. Reasonable woman, I like to handle things reasonably. But you're leaving. I 
realize that you're not equipped to relocate yourself. You can't afford it. I'm sure this will make it easy for you to find a suitable place. Oh, and you mustn't say goodbye to Davis. We both know that would upset him. And there is something you can do for me. David's been keeping some sort of animal in the pheasant run. Please take it with you. Give it away, sell it, do with it, whatever you choose. It's important that David be trained properly. He's very sensitive. I'm sure you see that now. He mustn't associate with dirty creatures, filth. I will do it, Miss Fairchild. Oh, well. Then if there's nothing I can do for you, I... Yes, there is one thing. You may go now, Miss Fairchild. your hideout. I have killed the animal, but she is to blame. Prayers are no longer good. You must stand on your own to feed and face her. some toast. Have some. Oh, 
I'm here now, David. I'm with you. Daddy. Give me this ring. It protects the wearer from harm. Take it, it's yours now. Today, visit my new baby. And he said that you were planning on sending David away for a cure. Aren't the sandwiches delicious? Look, David's an active boy. He must want a companion his own age. Now, I know you don't feel that he's ready for a visit. We'd be more than happy to have him come and stay with us. If he's any problem to you, Peter would be absolutely delighted. You were here all along. You saw them together. Was my sister terribly unhappy?
Martha, I, I don't love you anymore. I love your sister. Martha, Martha, I'm sorry. But I don't love you. I love your sister. Martha's going to die. She is going to absolutely die. Say it again. Martha. Yes, Kevin. Martha, I still love you, but... But I love your sister more, and we're going to be married. Oh, 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 oh. I love my sister, and I don't want to hurt her. She's prettier than you are. I think I should come with you. And she's sexier than you are. Martha is sexier than you are. No, you are. Oh, oh I didn't think about me. It's, it's um, sexier. It's the only picture I've had of. She's the woman, the woman who killed my dog. Darling, it was an accident and you know it. I certainly didn't know he was there. You'll find another dog. Just feeling a little bit cocky. Let him find his own way. <coughs> like gas or burp, even. <coughs> he got to let it come out. Oh, Mary, really? They say that a week before David was born, his mother saw a whole elbow and fist stick straight out of her stomach. He was that hungry for air. So you help him to get out, no matter that it hurts. 
everything laying outside of you, then in a bloody mess beyond you. But you let him go. It's his only way out. You give in to man. Mary, stop it. What do we know about all that? We don't have children. Lock him in his room until I decide what to do with him. Oh, that's not fair. About the way you've been treating David. I know it's not really my place. You're so right. You are not letting him be himself. Really, Mary? I am in a position to know what is himself and what is expected of him. Well, I feel I have a position, too. Mary, you have no position. I have a right. What is this about a right? What right? From now on, you cook, and I'll look after David. And please do button your blouse. Now, David, you must take your medicine, and I will lock you in your room. Tie you to the bed at night and let you starve. <laughs> With no toast. And the shot rings out. Mm. Not again. No. 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 Mary, no. you've got to do it. I'm no. No. What are you trying to do? Ah! It's so cold in here. Don't they know how cold I am? Oh, Daddy. Please come and get me. Take me away from here. The people, they hurt me. Stop them. You've got to stop them. You, you're just like your father. Your father who was a sick, selfish man who hurt everyone who cared about him. Is that what you want to be? <laughs> Please, let's stop this. Let's not fight anymore. <laughs> it's me, Mary. God, oh, Jesus. You're up like this. Oh, me. Wait. You're going to kill me, isn't you? David, your aunt thinks you're sick. I mean, you know. Inside. 
I want you to tell me whether it's true. No. I knew it. Put your hand to your heart. It's not sick inside, David. It's not sick inside, David. You're not sick. You're not sick. Nor was your father. I know you miss your father. So do I. He was fun to be with, wasn't he? Why did he have to die? I thought he liked me. Oh, he loved you. You be your own man like he was. And I promise you, from now on, I'll help you when you need me. Am I an orphan? Why do you ask that? Am I? No. Orphan has no home and no family. You have both. You have me. I know I could never be your mother. But I would like very much for you to think of me as your mother. I will think of your aunt. I just won't think of her. Would I make a good mother? You'll do. Do you want me? I do. To love, honor, and obey? Yes, to us part. <laughs> this will protect you. <laughs> Oh, you're a good one. Come on now, into bed. I'll watch you while you fall asleep. I'm fine now. Well, then, I'll keep your bed warm. Sleep now, David, while I watch over you. I love you, like I would my own son. Uh, David spoke to me last night. And? He was upset. He said that he's afraid that... He spoke to you. He was very upset. He was crying. I'm upset. About the conspiracy. Very nice for you to be concerned, but I'm afraid he'll just have to cry. Work on my right shoulder. You slept with David last night. Did he tell you that? Of course. Well, he was um, sick. He asked me to spend the well, night. I'll tell you why he's sick. Because he's been surrounded by filth. You, his father, the African. God knows what kind of orgies you've been having here. You knew Kevin as well as I did. Yes, I did. You're his kind. We're different. He destroyed my sister. Your sister? Your sister was no woman? Get your things and get out of here. I won't let you have him. You have no choice. No. Go quickly. There'll be someone to replace you in the morning. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind, Mary. Uh, <laughs> I already got the rabbit. Th then you will speak to her. You'll I'll drive you there, Mary. But I can't get involved. I see. Isn't this Martha's room? I have to get a few things here that are mine. Sure, Mary. Steal the china. She can't fire me. I have a legal right. Oh, come on, Mary. You're a cook. That's all. Hey. Uh, what do we got over here? Where? Right here yeah. under the bed. What's this? <laughs> a solid gold heart. Hey, isn't this a picture of Kevin? Let me see. Oh, it's my locket. 
How about this gown over here? <laughs> That's Martha's. Oh, come on, Mary. Try it on. Come on. <laughs> oh, Bill. No, no. What's wrong? I don't know what to do. You'll find another child. Oh. Worried about David? Oh, I don't care about him. I just want you. <laughs> yeah, like hell. <laughs> I promise you will speak to her. Sure, sure, Mary. I'll do what I can. Promise? First things first. You. How is David? Fine. Damn shoes. You taking them with you? No. Where is David, anyhow? Locked up. Locked, locked up. <laughs> Holy ghost. Holy ghost. <laughs> Holy ghost. <laughs> hey, you're putting on a little weight, aren't you? <laughs> well, I love it. <laughs> hey, 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 watch out for the sheets. The sheets. <laughs> I have to wash them anyway. You know, this isn't going to get you anything. Mary? I thought you were my friend. Nasty fall. 
Now, now, it's all right. You'd better call Martha. No! Tell me what happened, dear. And why you broke the window. My mother's been killed. Well? Martha's been killed? Oh, come on, really. Mary! Now, now it's Mary. I meant Mary. Who's Mary? I hear her scream. She's dead. It's not nice to lie about people. Oh, this is too much. You're going home. I won't. There's always the orphanage, you know. No! Jean, you better call Martha. No! I don't even want to know why you do the things you do. I decided. It will be best for both of us if I send you away. To a boarding school. I'm not an orphan. I'm sure when you see the catalog, you'll like it. I'll get it. I know you'll be happy there. You'll make lots of friends. Just take a minute and then you can leave. Stand up. Come on, do what he says. Stand up. You better do what he says. Come on, let's go, sonny boy. Get up now. Come on, up we go. Wait right there. Quiet out there. What are your rooms? Don't look.
Now you can cut out his tongue. Scissors. Scissors. Open. Wider. He won't stick out his tongue. Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue. David, how did your mother die? Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue. I found it. Oh, here it is. David, I just know this is the place for you. When you see this catalog, you're... David? David? David, come back here. David, don't you run away from me. Look at this crap. This place is filled with stuff. Look at Charlie. No. He only belongs here. So you. He doesn't like you. At least when I'm home, he has fun. No. She'll destroy everything. She'll get rid of you too, Charlie. David, I know you're in here. What is this? Now, how did he...
chicken coop a while ago. Thank you. 